Hello, and welcome to my medical entomology presentation on carrion's disease. Carrion's disease is a bacterial infection and poses a great threat to humans. It's an epidemic found only in South America. The bacteria can infect a range of hosts, including cats, dogs, humans, and other mammals. The mortality rate is 40 to 90 percent, which I'll explain more in a little bit. Additional research in carrion's disease could help find better treatments and quicker ways of diagnosing patients. During the 1870s, carrion's disease killed around 7,000 people in Peru, most of which were railway workers. Daniel Carrion, a researcher and scientist interested in this disease, inoculated himself with pus from a casualty in 1885. Three weeks later, he showed acute symptoms of the disease, and unfortunately, on the fourth week, he passed away. The disease would soon be named after him. Roberto Barton isolated a causative bacterium in 1905, but it wasn't published until 1909. B. bacilliformis wasn't technically identified until 1940. The primary vector for carrion's disease lives across northern, northwestern South America, but the disease itself is distributed only in Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia. It seems to have originated in Peru, and the areas of focus can be seen in the bottom right. The causative agent for carrion's disease is Bartonella bacilliformis, a proteobacteria. It's flagellated and modal, and infects red blood cells and endothelial cells in the human. Until 1993, genus Bartonella contained only one species. However, there are now 23 identified species. This bacteria can be cultured in bovine blood and incubated at 19 to 25 degrees Celsius for two weeks. It devastates the human body within three weeks, as seen in the case of Carrion himself. Sandflies of the genus Lutzomyia are the main vectors of carrion's disease. They are phlebotamine sandflies. There are around 400 species, 33 of which are of medical importance to humans. They are only found in the New World and serve as vectors for carrion's disease and also other arboviruses. Like other dipterans, females are the only ones capable of transmitting the disease because they are the only ones that feed on human blood. Sandflies undergo complete metamorphosis and have a mean adult lifespan of 13 days. Bartonella bacilliformis infection does not affect the lifespan of the host vector. As you can see in the bottom figure, it shows the life cycle of the bacteria and how it transfers back and forth between human host and fly host. And the cycle repeats as the fly sucks the blood from the human and obtains the disease to pass it along to the next human who it bites. There are two stages of carrion's disease. The acute phase, which is the original carrion's disease, and also chronic stage, which is also called Peruvian wart. Originally, these two were thought to be different diseases, but research has since shown that they come from the same source. When I was talking about mortality rates earlier, the 90% mortality rate can be caused during the chronic stage of carrying disease, which is a gateway for the host to also receive salmonella poisoning. This greatly increases the mortality rate of the victim. Some acute symptoms include fever, malaise, jaundice, lymphadenopathy, and ways of diagnosing this are through blood smears or blood cultures, which are seen in the bottom right of infected red blood cells, or immunoblots. Symptoms of the chronic stage include a cutaneous rash, proliferation of endothelial cells, which are the warts that are seen in the left figure. 
Diagnosis of this include wart biopsy and immunoblot. The three types of lesions based on size are listed below. Treatment for carrion's disease depends on the stage that the victim is in. The acute phase treatment is quinolones, which is a drug that prevents DNA unwinding and bacteria duplication. Treatment for the chronic phase is rifampin, which is a typical antibiotic. There is no current vaccine for carrion's disease. Strategies for prevention include avoiding areas where carrion's disease is most common and its vector is most populated. Insect repellent could help deter the vectors from biting you, as well as protective clothing could save yourself from getting bitten. If acute symptoms begin to show, seek medical attention to obtain early treatment. Do not let stages progress to chronic. Do not end up like Daniel Carrion, but appreciate his slight insanity in his dedication to science. Thank you for listening and have a great day.